problem solve from the midterm review for FAM. Find the volume to solve, obtain by resolving the region bounded by y equal e to the x, y equal 10, and x equal 0 about the x axis. And again, I think for these volume ones, it's pretty necessary to draw the region. So y equals e to the x looks like this. y equals 10 looks like this. And x equals 0 looks like this. So here is my region. So I draw my little strip. There's my inner radius. There's my outer radius. And the volume of that thing, you know, rotated around the x-axis. Is going to be well pi times the big radius squared minus pi times the little radius squared all times dx times alpha pi. The big radius is 10, the little radius is e to the x. So then the total volume is pi times the integral of 10 squared minus e to the x squared, which is e to the 2x x. From as far left as 0 to as far right as, oh no, we haven't found that point yet. So if we set these equal to each other, so I set e to the x equal to 10, I take the natural log of the sides, natural log of e to the x equals natural log of 10, so e to the x, sorry, natural log of e to the x is x equals natural log of 10. So that's my upper limit of integration, which is kind of funky. Okay, so now we're just going to find this. So we note the other thing, let's see. Pi times the integral of 100 is 100x. And a mini u substitution tells us that the integral of e to the 2x is e to the 2x divided by 2. And 0 to the natural log of 10. Plugging in natural log of 10, we get 100 times natural log of 10 minus e to the 2 times natural log of 10 over 2 minus plugging in 0 I get, oh sorry, I should do all, all of this 100 times 0 is 0 minus e to the 0 is 1 and I'm probably just thinking like that if I was short on time um, if I'm not short on time I've got pi times 100 times natural log of 10 is 100 times natural log of 10 the e to the natural log of 10 e to the 2 times natural log of 10 this can come up as the power here so you get e to the natural log of 10 squared, and e to the natural log of 10 squared, or e to the natural log of 100, e to the natural log of a thing is just the thing. So e to the natural log of 100 is just 100. So this is actually 100 over 2, which is 50. Minus minus is plus 1 half. And I'd probably leave it like that, right? I mean, you could probably split that a little bit more, but it's kind of dumb. So I'm going to leave it there. All right, that's the end of the midterm review.